Hello, Chris here at Arena Studio. Um, one of the things that I'd like to discuss with you today is how to prepare yourselves, how to prepare your band, etc., uh, to come into the studio and basically smash it straight away. Uh, I don't mean smash my studio, I mean basically get everything right and, and uh, be good to go and save yourself time. Time's money in the studio environment, so this is really quite an important thing. Uh, number one, guitar players. Make sure your guitar is set up, good to go, new strings um, just make a massive difference when we're recording everything. New strings just put that brightness and that little bit of life in everything that you're playing. And there's nothing more annoying as well than when you're halfway through a session and the guitar player breaks a string. It does happen, but um, it's more chance of happening when you, you, know, you sort of run those strings down a little bit and squeeze what you can out of them. So new strings, make sure they're on, good to go, everything works great. Check all your leads and your connectors that you're going to be using on your pedals as well. That's the other thing that causes a lot of problems in the studio for us. Um, same thing applies to bass players. You know, obviously you're going to make sure everything's uh, up and good and ready to go. The other problem that we tend to find is drums. Drums can be a nightmare for us in the studio because what we want you to do is to come in, set up, and we'll record. Um, basically, I'm going to tell you how we do the recording sessions here at Arena Studio. But the most important thing for the kit is new skins again. Make sure your kit's tuned brilliantly. We get so many drummers that come in with the bands and they say, oh yeah, I've got my kit tuned. And then I have to spend two, two and a half hours getting rid of squeaks, rattles, uh, overtones, you know, by generally tweaking everything and putting it where it needs to be. Learn to tune your drums, you know, not just necessarily for practice but for recording if you're not sure how to do it google it there'll be videos on youtube for all this type of stuff but make sure your kit is good to go drummers listen to this this is the most important bit drummers learn to play to a click track it's going to save us loads of time on the actual uh, editing and mixing process as well uh, we get again bands that come in and i'll ask the drummers i'll say excuse me guys but what you like playing to a click brilliant not a problem chris let's do it i'll put a click feed into the headphones they're all over the place. Some of them are that far out, they're nearly back in. Um, so it's just a case of practice to a metronome. Learn your, your drum tracks off by heart that you're going to be performing in the studio. You're far better coming in and getting two, three great songs than trying to rattle off six or seven songs with flaws and errors. And then two and a half hours of your session is tweaking amps and leads and strings and skins and squeaky pedals. So eliminate all those bits because what we want you to do is to come in and get maximum benefit from the studio. So again, the other thing that we can look at is if your drummer can play to a click, when we're editing, if there is a slight glitch on anything, we can just maybe possibly copy and paste something because it's locked nicely to a grid, which again means that you don't have to just tolerate those dodgy fills or those dodgy bass lines or a couple of iffy chords. We can just drop you in or copy and paste and swap them. So it makes my life easier. It makes your song and your production sound slicker and more polished. Um, so do it. The other thing as well, one of the other things that we look at in the studio here, in Arena Studio, is when we get a band in, we've got several options of recording you. Now, nowadays, um, we tend to like to record live off the floor, which is basically how you guys rehearse in the studio. So you end up putting yourselves in the room, you're all visually eyeing one another up, so that helps to keep the vibe going as well, and we record you like that. Uh, we have had situations where we actually isolate everybody, drums in one room, guitars in another, vocals in another, you know, shove the guitar cabs in the back room and whatever. We just do what we've got to do to get the sound that you want. This again, a lot of guys can be against this because it can give you a very clinical sound. Personally, the way I like to go is a little mixture of both. I like to record drums, bass, and maybe rhythm guitar or one guitar track at the same time. Again, this means that it's easier to get three parts of the song right in one pass than maybe a guide vocal, a bass player's strings, two guitars, keyboards, etc. everything that's going on. You might have six or seven guys all trying to play perfect takes at the same time. So normally we like to rattle it with guitar, bass, drums, then the second guitar, if we've got a second guitar or you want to overdub, will go in and, uh, and drop in on the top and then the vocals will go on after that and a few backing vocals. And boom, we've got a track that sounds really slick. We've still got that, that natural vibe, but we've also got that real good studio quality on everything as well. It gives us the opportunity to tweak a little bit, maybe reamp the guitar for the other guitar player, do one or two bits and bobs like that. So those are my tips for getting you ready for in the studio. The other thing is to rehearse, rehearse, rehearse. Make sure you know every little bit of your song off by heart, even without the vocalist singing. Again, that's going to just help to tighten everything up. And again, I've said it already, you get 
two great songs in a day which sound release quality, which means we can mix and matter them to a far better standard. You're happy, your fans are happy, you get a bigger buzz off everything. Um, it's just worth prepping. You know, coming in the day, record, get a great product. That's what we want to give you. But when I have to spend my time, time aligning drum fills and bass players who are half a beat behind a kick drum and things like that, and I've got a warp audio in Pro Tools to get it to sound slick and tight, that's going to ramp up your budget. Um, you know, don't, don't be frightened of taking a few times out on rehearsals just to get these little bits right. It really will make a huge difference to your songs. So those are my pointers for coming into Arena Studio. If you want to give me a call anytime uh, or you can subscribe to the channel, I'm going to be putting as many videos on YouTube and Tumblr and all this type of stuff as is possible. Um, it's just always mad busy, so I can't always get it on there, um, but I will do my best to you. So thanks for listening to me, Chris, at Arena Studio, and keep checking in on the Facebook, Tumblr, and Arena Studio pages, and give us a thumbs up or a like or a whatever it is that you do on these things, and I'll keep them all coming, okay? Catch you later.